Can't get under this crap. guys welcome back to another video today with my boy Levi um, we were actually about 20 minutes ago we found a pile on the side of the road thought we'd hit it looked really juicy fortunately we didn't catch anything now we are headed down to the dam and rumor has it the pike bite has been up around here so we're just out here today trying to catch some pet some bass maybe some pike you know I got I got my LTB in the car we're gonna see what's gonna happen uh, me and Levi are heading down that spot right now Right now I got a swim jig hooked up and a drop shot with a Guggenbait slim shake worm haven't used that yet hopefully Hopefully it's the juice and it does some damage to these fish here. We're gonna put the camera down. We're walking up to the dam. We're gonna try to pull out a beast in front of it because big fish like to linger in front of the dam. And uh, yeah, we're, it's nice out here, nice and sunny. Hopefully, if your falls come around, hopefully the bite's picking up. And hopefully, I said hopefully at least six times there, but um, hopefully again we can um, start catching some fish here and make a good day out of it. So let's do it. There's one. All right. Finally hooked up on something. It's a nice fish, bro. How am I supposed to land this? We're flipping them. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Oh, nice. That's a chunk. That's a good fish right there. He slammed it. Wow, look at the top of his fin. Oh, look at this. He's missing some fins there. He got slammed, but look at that. He choked it. He choked that jig. Woo, that feels good, man. Feels good. I'm gonna take a sweet picture of that because that is, he choked that. That was awesome. Saw that line moving right toward me, actually swimming toward me. And this fish, this fish has definitely been through some shit with some other fish. Right in the top of that mouth, comes right out. I was actually really nervous about flipping that guy because this is a pretty, pretty big drop right here. It's about four or five feet down there. So I was really nervous about flipping him. I'm gonna go over there, leave us and take a picture real quick. And then we're gonna put him back. All right, so this is probably like two and a half. Maybe three, he's a little fat, but I'm just gonna drop him down here because I can't really get to the water. So, I just put that jig right over here, right by this little inlet kind of. There's some rocks and some brush right here, and he actually swam toward me after that. I was throwing the uh, the crack and crawl on the back. It's from Guggen Baits. Honestly, the crack and crawl is probably my favorite trailer to use. I usually shorten it up, but today I wanted to, I want this thing to look like a bigger presentation. So I put the full thing on, and it seems to work so far. I mean, I've been throwing it for about eight minutes and 55 seconds, according to my camera. But I'm going to flip back in there and try to land some more fish. Levi's on. Yeah, baby. It's all right. Am I going in? How do I, how do I get under this I stuff? Them, dude. I can't get under this crap. Oh my god. Oh, it's hanging off the bridge to grab it. Standing on a rock. Oh, he's not even that big. I just came all the way down this bridge. I was hanging on by one hand on the bridge. And then, because it's deep right there, grab the fish and now I'm on the rock. Wow. Hey, just hand up here. Yeah, well, hold on. I'm out of breath. I was hanging out with one hand on this bridge. My feet were just dangling in the water. And I just grabbed that fish. But then there's a rock right here, which is very convenient because I'm standing on that. Yeah, I thought it was Whew. Beautiful bass caught by Levi. I was hanging on this bridge. That is a very nice fish, Levi. We're going to get a nice release on him. We're going to release him right by my toes. Release him right here. Swims off. Boom. Now I got to get up. That's going to suck. Actually, you know what? Can you just hand me my rod? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good spot right here. This is where we landed Levi's fish. I had to come all the way down here. I was hanging out by this. My one hand, feet were dangling in the water, and I grabbed the fish with the other hand. Maybe like six feet deep here, but there's this, maybe a little shallower, but there is a big boulder that I'm standing on here. I'm going to give this to Levi so I can somehow try to get up. There you are. There you are. There we go. You're up, you're up. I'm up. Woo. Let's go, baby. <laughs> All right, let's get my phone back here. All right, pockets aren't even wet. It's an all right cast. I like that spot. But bounce it like a jig. That's the beauty about the chatterbait. You kind of work it like a jig and then swim it like a chatterbait. It's 
very versatile lure. It's got the vibration of a crank. The thing is absolutely awesome. So you can really work it differently with every single cast, which is something I love about it. Especially with this crack and crawl on the back, the thing is money. Oh yeah, that's a good cast. Oh. There's one, and it was a good cast. Oh, that's a good fish. That was a big jump. That was a big jump. It's a decent fish, it's a decent fish. Right in front of that log. That's a nice bass. Yes, that's a nice bass. Oh, baby, woo hoo hoo! Right in the top of the mouth. Look at that. That's a tank. Comes right out. That is a beauty, dude. Oh, kinda got a messed up nose. I told you guys, I told you right next to that tree, I thought I was gonna be a good cast. That's probably a four pounder right there. Big gut on her. She slammed the chatterbait. That's a beauty right there. That is a nice four pound bass. We're gonna get a nice simple release on her. Gonna hoist her down here in the water. She put up a great fight. I think she's already ready to go anyways. Look at that, look at the fish. Look at the colors on that. And she swims right off. Woo hoo, Levi fist pump. Sweet, that's awesome. Yeah, and so he swallowed that black and blue chatterbait with the crack and craw. Now I gotta put a new one on. I'm trying to catch a bass. You're fishing that side, I'm fishing that, that side. So just There's one, got one. What, what, what is this spot, eight? No, the spot's good. No, he's all right. Oh, yeah. Right in the, right in the pads. Decent. Very decent. Stay on. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, dude. Too shabby? Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's... Hey, he's a chunk. He's not that, he's not that big. He's not that little. Right in the top of the mouth, choked it. The hook out, he, he slammed that. That's a nice chunky fish. He actually cast it right in front of these pads right here. Let it sink to the bottom. Oh. <laughs> nice, Levi. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this... This chunky girl back. Double up. Yeah, nice double yeah. up though. Woo! There she goes. Oh, there's a fish. God, I was about to check my phone. Woo! It's a feisty guy, dang. I was about to whip up my phone and check my Snapchats. Decent fish. She smoked it right in front of me, actually. A little chunker, not too bad. Top of the mouth, good hooks on him. Comes right out. Beauty, beauty, beauty pull back in the water. That's a little guy, but that's definitely a nice, fat, healthy fish. We're just gonna plop him in. Boom, there he goes, nice, let's do it. Do it some more. That was crazy, I actually just, literally that lure is right in front of my face right here. I was about to take up my phone, answer some Snapchats, and uh, he hammered it, so that was, that was pretty dope, pretty dope. Try that again. There we go. fish. Doesn't seem that big though. Oh, it's a nice one, I think. Oh, that is a, that's, that's a quite large. Oh, that's a tank. No. That's actually a really nice fish. I gotta finesse him over here. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta get down for this, boys. Bad camera view on this one. Oh, that's a tank. That's a nice fish right there. Slammed. Oh, he slammed that. All right, guys, so that's the fish right there. This is probably, no, this is definitely in the fours. I would say in the fours. If it's spring, probably a little bigger. But that, that is a chunk. That's, sorry, landing that, you know, you probably couldn't see much, but that's because I just wanted to get him in. I'm going to put him back through here. We're going to just drop him on down. And she's gone. Whew, that was a good fish. Wow, that was definitely my biggest of the day. But on that. Uh, same thing I was using all day, the chatterbait with the, uh, the crack and crawl at the end. I think that was my last crack and crawl, and I'm pretty sure it's gone now. Let me check. Oh, it's barely hanging on. Yeah, it, it's actually broken. So that's my last crack and crawl. Gonna have to order some more, but it got the job done. It got me a fat fish right, actually, somewhere over here. I'm not even sure where it was. Somewhere over here, I just like, you know, you know, just keeping it above the bottom just a little bit, working it like a jig kind of. And wow, he hammered that. That was an awesome fish. Great way to almost end the day because we're leaving here shortly. All right, guys, that's going to end the day today. Me and Levi, who is currently in the car, we, we had a good day. I mean, honestly, at first we were throwing some, like, clear-colored baits, some natural-colored baits. 
but we didn't realize the water was, got so murky, the water rose up, that's why it got really murky. So then when you want to, when it gets really murky like that, you want to switch to a more darker colored style bait. That's exactly what I did. I switched to a chatter bait with a crack and crawl on the back, which I love by the way. I ran out, I gotta order some more. They absolutely cleaned up fish, and that last fish you caught was really big. It was a really big fish. It was definitely four plus that last one. Great way to end the day. Levi lost a big fish in the end in the weeds. Nice fish, he was running, and he went right for this big weed patch. Literally took all the weeds with him, ended up getting off. So that sucked, but still, it was a great day out here. Uh, we're we're going to hit the road now. I got to get home. Levi's got to get home. I hope you guys enjoyed this, today's video. Uh, if you guys are new here, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as well, so every time we upload, you get notified instantly. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching today's video. More bangers to come soon. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.